Today we're getting a little messy. Actually, the goal in this video is to clean up some messes. Ionized water or alkaline ionized water is a topic that is pretty messy. There is a lot of information out there saying all sorts of things. So join me as I try to clean up the mess with the truth about ionized water on this episode of H2 Minutes. It is true that our channel is all about hydrogen. So why do a video about ionized water? Well, the topic of ionized water is very important when talking about hydrogen, and you'll see why later in this video. Before we get into the topic, we want to say thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Be sure to check out the description of this video for a lot of extra information about me and my companies and the sources to back up this video. So the goal of this video is to help you understand what ionized water is. And to understand what ionized water is, you need to understand these five points. Where it came from, what it's called, how it's made, what made it known, and how it works. Let's go. Number one, where it came from. In a nutshell, ionized water is one name for the drinking water produced by a water ionizer. There's a lot of details that go into that that we will get to soon. But first, a little history. Water ionizers were invented in the early 1900s. Research on them started being done around 1931 in Japan. They started gaining popularity in Japan in the 1950s. An electrolytic water generator that could be run continuously and hooked up to a tap was approved in 1979. Then shortly after, filters were added to these machines. It was after that that the marketing of alkaline ionized water started to grow. The industry has grown quite a bit since then. In 2020, it was estimated that the water ionizer market was estimated to be $2.4 billion USD and is expected to reach an estimate of $4.2 billion by the end of 2027. Now. That is a lot of money considering the misconceptions and fallacies surrounding this type of water. Number two, what is called? Ionized water has been called many names. Here are some of the names that has been called in the research. Ionized water, alkaline water, alkali ion water, cathodic water, electrolyzed reduced water, alkaline reduced water, electrolyzed alkaline water, etc. Electrolyzed reduced water is the most common name for ionized water in the scientific literature. Electrolyzed because the water has gone through the process of electrolysis, which we will explain here soon. Reduced because the water has been reduced to hydrogen gas and hydroxide at the cathode. Water, well, because it's water. <laughs> ionized water has been called many names that are not accurate based on what the water actually is. These include, but not limited to, structured water, microclustered water, electrically charged water, negatively charged water, active hydrogen water, hexagonal water, electron rich water, magnetized water, just to name a few. Number three, how it's made. Like I said before, ionized water is produced by water ionizers. Water ionizers produce two streams of water. Alkaline water containing dissolved molecular hydrogen at the cathode or the negative electrode, and acidic water containing dissolved oxygen gas at the anode or positive electrode. Now you've heard me say the word electrolysis a few times now, but what does it mean? The process of electrolysis is a chemical decomposition produced by passing an electrical current through a solution or liquid containing ions. Now that may be all a foreign language to you, so let's draw it out. Inside a water ionizer is a water cell, and inside that water cell will be a series of electrodes. Electrolysis requires a positive electrode and a negative electrode. The cathode is the negative electrode, and the anode is the positive electrode. In a water ionizer specifically, there is a membrane in the middle to separate the two streams of water. Let's just pretend I'm the membrane for now. We are going to do an in-depth electrolysis video at a later date. So in this video, we are only going to explain the cathode side of electrolysis. So here is our cathode and here are our water molecules. At the cathode, reduction happens. Remember the electrolyzed reduce water we talked about? This is why. In reduction, the cathode gives electrons. Because of this, the acidic component of water, protons, also called hydrogen ions, are reduced. An electron from the cathode finds a proton friend and becomes a hydrogen atom. Then, because hydrogen atoms are unstable and hydrogen gas is a diatomic molecule, they find another hydrogen atom to bond with. Boom! Now we have hydrogen gas, aka molecular hydrogen, aka H2. 
And then do you see this guy left over here from the water molecule? This is hydroxide, the alkaline component of water. This remaining hydroxide will drive the pH up, resulting in an alkaline pH water. Now, even though we're not explaining the anode just yet, it's important to know that the opposite is happening over there, resulting in a lowered or acidic pH. It is the membrane in the middle that allows the water at the anode and the cathode to remain separate to stay at the altered pH. Electrolysis without a membrane will not result in these altered pH values, but allows the acid and the base to balance each other out. Okay, so let's review. This is how ionized water is made. Tap water goes into the water ionizer. It first gets filtered through the filter provided with the water ionizer. Then it goes through electrolysis. Then it is dispensed out of the machine. So a rule of thumb to remember with ionized water, the drinking water produced cannot be anything that did not happen in the water ionizer. Therefore, it is vital to know what is happening in the machine to know what the water actually is. And the good news is through research, we know what happens in water ionizers. It's not a mystery, it's chemistry. Number four, what made it known? Ionized water did not become so popular because people were into the ionized or electrolyzed part of the water. Much of the success of ionized water is due to what we call the alkaline story. It is projected that the alkaline water market, including alkaline bottled waters, will reach a value of $4.32 billion by the end of 2023. According to one source, high alkaline water is one of the fastest growing segments in the premium functional beverage industry. The popularity of alkaline water is based on the idea that things higher in pH are better for you and that our bodies need to be at alkaline pH to be healthy. The only problem is this concept is not substantiated by any scientific evidence and large aspects of it goes directly against human biology. This has led to many health professionals writing it off as a health fad with no scientific grounding. I've actually done quite a few videos on this topic. Be sure to go check these out for more in-depth understanding on these topics. So how in the world has it become so successful? Well, there have been many reported anecdotal benefits of ionized water for a long time. And these benefits have primarily been attributed to the higher pH of the water. So the idea grew and grew that alkaline water will therefore give you all these amazing and crazy benefits. But that clearly wasn't the whole story, so researchers were determined to figure it out. I have to note that alkaline waters in stores are not generally produced with an ionizer. They are usually made by adding alkali compounds or carbonates, including alkali hydroxides of calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. They will not have hydrogen gas in them. So a point to remember. Ionized water is alkaline water, but alkaline water is not always ionized water. Number five, why it works. Now, there are a few reasons why ionized water works for people. There's always a big push by the water ionizer companies and their reps to stop drinking anything other than ionized water. Therefore, merely stopping the consumption of soda and sugary beverages will have health benefits of its own. Simply being hydrated when you're not used to drinking that much water will also result in many health benefits. Also check out this video that we did on water and its benefits. Also many people who start drinking ionized water also begin a healthier lifestyle, which can account for benefits. And there is the good old placebo effect, which is common when there's so much excitement about something. And your body responds to that instead of the properties of the water. But the main plausible reason why it works on a scientific level is because of the dissolved hydrogen gas in the water. One leading water ionizer researcher tested all the properties of the water, and the only one that exerted any therapeutic benefit was molecular hydrogen. To quote Dr. Lee, who was a pioneer on ionized water research in the 90s, and now one of the leading Korean hydrogen scientists. About 17 years ago, I began studying alkaline ionized water and published scientific articles on its antioxidant, anti-cancer, and anti-diabetic effects but did not really understand why the water worked. It was difficult to believe. Upon further investigation, I have now confirmed that the benefits from the alkaline ionized water are attributed to the hydrogen gas produced during electrolysis. The more I research and learn about hydrogen, the more dedicated and passionate I become in educating and helping others. The first time a link between ionized water and hydrogen was made in the research was in 1995. 
but hydrogen gas was not established or recognized to be therapeutic until 2007. And then in 2010, articles on ionized water began focusing almost exclusively on hydrogen gas. We've also done a history of hydrogen video that you should go check out. Here are just a few quotes from the scientific publications supporting this. H2 is a therapeutic agent in electrolyzed alkaline water and attenuates high fat diet induced non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in mice. The results demonstrated that H2 has a surprisingly positive impact in preventing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in mice and is also the key agent responsible in electrolyzed alkaline water for these benefits. The protective mechanism of electrolyzed reduced water derives from molecular hydrogen with a high reducing ability and that this could contribute to reactive oxygen species scavenging activity as well as participate in the cellular redox regulation. The hydrogen molecules produced in the cathode represent the most important reducible chemical species dissolved in electrolyzed reduced water. Dissolved gases and not alkalinity is responsible for electrolyzed hydrogen water protective effects. In fact, it is so well recognized that molecular hydrogen is the key component of electrolyzed reduced water that some studies will remove the molecular hydrogen from the electrolyzed reduced water and use it for the control group. Another study confirmed that it is the hydrogen gas and not the pH or minerals or other properties of alkaline reduced water that is responsible for the therapeutic benefits. In 2005, they reported that hydrogen-rich neutral water that was produced with their unique electrolysis device reduced oxidative stress in rats. This was a pioneering work because they explicitly proved that molecular hydrogen, but not alkaline, in the electrolyzed alkaline water exerts therapeutic effects. Now that's super exciting to know that we finally have some understanding of how ionized water works. However, water ionizers are not exactly ideal for producing hydrogen gas dissolved into water. In fact, there are many factors of water ionizers that can influence the dissolved hydrogen concentration in the water. Things such as how clean the electrodes are or the type of electrodes, source water conductivity, meaning the minerals in the source water, the rate in which the water is being dispensed, electrical current flow or current density, just to name a few. So there are some important limitations that water ionizers face for dissolving hydrogen gas. To the point that just having an ionizer does not guarantee your water will provide a therapeutic dose of hydrogen gas for your daily consumption. Just to be clear, ionized water can provide therapeutic levels of hydrogen gas dissolved into the water in the right circumstances with the right source water. I can explain this much further, but I'll save that for the next video discussing the limitations of water ionizers. But for now, it's important to note that alkaline water ionizers were developed decades before hydrogen was recognized as the true therapeutic agent. Thus, ionizers were optimized for alkaline pH, not high dissolved hydrogen concentrations. It is our opinion that molecular hydrogen has helped the alkaline water and ionizer industry in a major way, primarily by driving water ionizers and alkaline water cells due to anecdotal testimonies even though it wasn't known that it was hydrogen all along. The hydrogen for health industry is also a billion dollar industry, even though it is not well known in the United States. Check out this quote. In 2009, Japan solved this technical problem and produced hydrogen water. In 2012, hydrogen water sales in Japan online alone reached 20 billion yen. In the same year, researchers from 12 developing countries, including the United States and Germany, began developing H2 as a healthcare product, and the global hydrogen water market reached 22 billion. H2 industries continue to grow and now include H2 based hydrogen rich peripheral products such as hydrogen health capsules, hydrogen cosmetics, hydrogen rich bath agents, and hydrogen ventilator equipment. Because of all of this, many alkaline water ionizer companies have even changed their marketing to convey the hydrogen message. However, many have not significantly improved their device's technology to ensure a therapeutic dose of hydrogen can be achieved with their products. And on a personal note, I have tested many, I mean many, water ionizers for hydrogen gas. Most of my dissolved hydrogen readings have been very low and even some with undetectable levels of dissolved hydrogen gas. But more on that next time. Another point to remember, ionized water is hydrogen water technically, but it's not always therapeutic. Hydrogen water can be ionized water or alkaline water, but 
ionized water or alkaline water does not mean there is an adequate concentration of hydrogen, if any. This is why it's crucial to measure the dissolved hydrogen concentration of your water. And we actually did a video showing you how. So I hope you learned some truths about alkaline ionized water that you did not know before. Make sure you share this video because obviously there are many, many people buying alkaline water or alkaline water ionizers that might not really know what it is. Shout out to my peeps, my homies, my patrons for making this video possible. If this video has helped you in any way, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash h2minutes. There are perks of being a patron, but the biggest perk of all is being part of something that can really help a lot of people. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. You can also click here to watch our Understanding Hydrogen Water that will explain what hydrogen water is, how it works, and why I keep saying dissolve hydrogen gas. And that was your electrolyzed dose of H2 in minutes.